Hello, it's Stephen from Great Scale Models and it's time for another 3D printed Gunpla Spotlight video. So, this one's going to be in the Sazabi bust. So, this is from Thingiverse and it's made by Bunny Loafers. Made back in November 2021, so relatively recently. They printed theirs out on a Saturn, a Eagle Saturn. So, yeah, it obviously works. So, let's go give it a whirl and see what happens. Now, when I was doing this, it, bear in mind, it is a total of nine parts. Um, and that's if you're including this. This is a second base that they give you that's hollowed out. I'm not sure the purpose of that, but okay, fair enough. They've grown as that. I didn't take it to account, though. What I was doing is just this. So, this is all the parts that I reckon should be black in colour. And this is all the parts I reckon should be red in colour. So I separated them off into their own build plate. Now, one just word of warning, this isn't really too bad, but there is an editor with this panel line here. I believe this is a second face in there. It doesn't affect the model's ability to print, so we should be fine with it. Now, they've also, by the looks of it, given us models in relatively reasonable orientations. Thing is, I did you know, change these orientations slightly. I flipped this one back, I'll just see if I can get it, there. And I flipped this one over. Oh no, that's not how I did it. I flipped it over to this side. This side? There. So, arrange your models. And there, that's roughly what mine's going to look like. So there is going to be a lot of support material under there, but I was finding there was even more when I did it the other way. On this side, yeah, I basically printed out like that. I was trying to do something fancy with the um, pipes, I don't know what you would call them, but yeah, nothing was really working. These are actually kind of a really awkward orientation for FDM printing. Uh, you, for FDM, you really want a flat surface and yeah. Uh, to make this better for FDM, it would have been a case of cutting this in two. But yeah, to be honest, I suspect this one was designed mainly for resin printing, at which point, yeah, that's perfectly acceptable. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go away and print this and I'll see you in a couple of seconds. And we're back. So, as you can see, got all the parts. The head, the base, these are parts of the neck, that's the face, these are all parts of the fin, and that's some tubing that goes on the base. So, there's been a couple of little bits of failure prints. I think they're actually my fault because I left my CR10 on the Ender 6 settings and the Ender 6 is a much newer and better printer. It can print a lot faster. Uh, my CR10 is rather old. So, anyway, um, this is fairly easy to assemble. Put this on here. We get this bit. Now, just make sure I get this the right way round. Is it this way? Yes, it is. Then, this goes on this way. And for this, what... This is something I actually really like. When they've designed this, there's a little slot. So, normally it's just like a simple key rectangle bit in there, square. But this has got a sort of chamfer, so what you do, you push it up here, get it clear, and that little slot means that it will actually slot, well, it will fit in like this, and then you can push down and get it locked in place. So that's a really good feature. So whoever designed that, good, oh, hats off to you. So yeah, that then goes down. Now these bits, um, I was finding that the pin or the pegs for them weren't too good, so I ended up sanding them right down. And something actually I should note with these, you'll see a lot of these parts have holes in them. I believe those are bits for magnets, so you could actually go and put magnets in these to have them assemble and disassemble. Uh, be honest, I'd probably super glue all this at one point, but yeah. So this bit here is also a bit of a pain, but there. So, 
Now we have the Nanju. So yeah, this took about 12 hours to print in total for all parts over two printers. Uh, all the red bits were on my Ender 6, all the black parts were on my CR10 and yeah. So I'm going to cut away and I'll start spinning this thing. So oh, my final thoughts on this. This is a really nice model. It goes together well, it prints well and can be printed on an FDM or resin printer although you will be looking at a larger resin printer for that. Um, it is quite a stunning piece. Uh, this is without even painting it. All I've done is printed it in red and black filament. I could see someone taking this away and doing it up to be really nice. Um, highlighting all the details, panel lines, etc. Cleaning it up because you can see on my one it's got a lot of stringing and yeah, there's a lot of ring on this bit here, but uh, it's a tall, thin part that happens. But yeah, that's my thoughts on this. So, if you're interested, and as I said, the links will be in the description below. And thank you for watching.